believe, therefore I have spoken. I put a price tag on this, this, what's coming out of this book, and the knowledge and understanding you can receive from it. What you saying? God knows the heart. That's an excuse. God ain't dealing with excuses. We start, I would like to give all praises and honor and glory to the Father, the God of the Bible, Ahaya Ashur Ahaya, the great I am. Be Jeremiah chapter 18, 5 and 6 for me, brother. The book of Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 5. Then the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, verse 6, O Israel, O house of Israel, Cannot I do with, with you as this father said the most high power? Behold, as the clay is in the father's hand, so are he in my hand, O house of Israel. This is the message today, people. The message is to consider our ways. Okay? We cannot keep doing the same thing, expect a different outcome. Children of Israel are these people here in the sun. The blacks, the Latinos, the native Indians. You understand? You guys are the children of Israel. We need to consider our ways. Okay? We need to stop looking for men to take us out of the condition that we're at. Okay? When God put us in the condition, consider our ways. We're going to go through the precepts to show you the most high God. Is punishing us until we turn back. Let me get Isaiah chapter 5, I mean Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 8. You understand? We must consider our ways. We must consider our ways. The blacks, Latino, Indians. Before we can blame anybody, we must fix ourselves because that's the source of our problem, the most high power. He's the one that put us through all the trials and tribulations. You can see, here in America, and in the four corners of the earth. Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 8. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 8. Therefore, thus said the most high power, Behold, I, even I, am against thee. Who's against us? The most high. The most high is against us because we are not keeping God's law. That's the source of our problem, people. Read. And will execute judgment in the midst of these, in the sight of the nation. You see that? We're being shot by cops. You see what I'm saying? All these tribulations, it was prophesied to happen to us because we are uh, stiff-necked people. You understand? We're going to show you more. Read the 14th verse for me, brother. Verse 14. Moreover, uh -huh. I will make thee Wait, and a reproach among the nations that are around about me in the sight of all that pass by. You see that? Every scripture says, I, I, the most high is doing 
doing this? Why are we marching for peace? Peace is to come back to, to God's law. You blacks, natives, Americans, Hispanics, you understand? This is the source of our problem. I'm tired of seeing our people going the wrong way, going into one thing. Nothing ever happened, no changes. Come back to the Lord. The most time is the one that's mad with us. Let me get the next scripture. Isaiah 5 and 25. This is the message, people. This is the warning before destruction. Okay? All throughout the Bible, the most I say men, as you see before you, to prophesy, to warn you before destruction. Alright? Read that for me. The book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 25. Therefore, is the anger of the most high power kindled against his people. And he has stretched forth his hand against them and have smitten them as the hill did tremble and their carcass were torn in the midst of the street. For all this, his anger is not turned away. But his hand is stretched out still. You see that? Because we sit there. Because we do not take heed to the commandments. Why do you think we're here? We want you to turn around and follow God's commandments. We basically try to give you life. The storm is coming, people. The storm is coming. The Most High said, His hands stretch out still because we're here. Nobody's listening to us. Nobody's coming asking, What are you talking about, brother? No. You guys shopping around, think everything is great. You see that? You guys gotta see. Very soon, we are testifying against Lake Ward. Alright? Telling you, we've been here time after time to come back to follow God's commandment. I'm on. Now, one of you guys take heed to that. Let me get Isaiah 41 to 20. This is for you. This is our job to wake up our people. Our people are destroyed. Isaiah 41 and 20. Read that soon. The book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 20. That they may see and know and consider and understand together. See that? We say all this punishment in the four corners is signs for you to repent. It's signs for you to look for into something different than your religion, man. Religion is not the way. Alright? We have so many religions. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. The scripture said, the prophet Isaiah said, consider what you're doing, man. Nothing has changed. Read. In the middle of verse 20, that the hand of the most high power has done this, and, his, and the Holy One of Israel has created it. See that? It's no nation in particular. All right? The hand of the most high is doing this. Why do you think nobody has been able to get us out of this condition? Because it's not for them to do it. They cannot get a situation because it's not for them to do it. You understand? Understand, this Bible was written by Israelites for Israelites. Come on! You understand? Come back to the law. Come back to the Most High's law. Let me get Isaiah 9 and 13. Isaiah 9 and 13. You see that? All these punishments are coming upon us, but we're not taking heed. We're not asking the right questions. That's what we hear. Come and ask questions. Isaiah 9 and 13. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 13. For the, for the people, turn it not unto him that sent them. See that? Us, the blacks, Latinos, the Native Indians, we're not turning back to the, to, to, to the source of our issue. We're not repenting, we're not turning to the most high. All right? We're marching, we're forming groups. Nothing has happened. We've been doing that for, for ages. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. It's the law you, put, you, you fell from, and that's why you need to come back to. That's our message. Neither do they see the most high power of hope. See that? We continually being punished because we're not seeking the most high of hope. Let me get Jeremiah 5 and 22. Jeremiah 5 and 22. You see that? Now, we are brothers from Gadiel Christ Church. 
All right? We have solutions. You see what I'm saying? We're not going to talk about what's going on. So many people have done that. All right? We have compassion. We have solutions. We're telling you, you fail. Whatever you're experiencing right now, you fail because you are forefathers went against God's commandments. Nothing else. This is the source of our problem, people. Take heed. Get you that one. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 22. Fear ye not me. The most I ask you, all this you're going through, you're still not fearing me? How short are you? Come on. Say the most I fall. Will he not tremble at my presence, which has placed the sand for the bound of the sea? By a perpetual decree, decree that it cannot pass it. Though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they were, yet can they not pass over it. See that? The most I got so much, so great a power. He said, you still not turning to me. Let me get to Romans 28, 15. You still not talking, uh, coming back to me. And we, we're going to show you more. Um, tribulations, all right? Direct results from us went away from God's commandments. Blacks, Latinos, let it end it. Do you know we're the people of the Bible? We gotta come back to the law. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8 says, the servants are ruling. Think about this. Let me get to me 20 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the most high power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which he have commanded in this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, let's see. Let's see what are those curses. Because if we if we, if we down, all right, if we, if we down, then we chose the latter part. We chose not to listen. So we're going to find what happened of us not listening. Go to 47 and 48 real quick. Verse 48, 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the most high power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart and the abundance of all things. Verse 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy with the most high power will send against thee in hunger and in thirst. You see that? Because we did not serve the most high. Alright? We don't make our own food. We don't make our own medicine. Alright? I see the same faces two weeks back shopping here. Why are we not self-sufficient? Why we don't, we don't have our own stuff? Why we gotta come to our enemies and shop here? You see what I'm saying? Why can't we produce our own things? It's because we choose not to listen to the law. See that? We have solution. We're not just talking about what's, what's apparent. You see that? And in nakedness. And in the want of all things. And in the want of all things. Why you see the majority of people that's going to the store here are black, Latino. And the want of all things. In nakedness. You want your clothes? You got to go to your enemy for it. You see that? This is not normal, people. Think, think. Consider your way. Let me get Ezekiel 7. In the middle of verse 28. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. You see that? You can't Google that. Yoke of iron. That happened in, the slave, that happened in slavery. All these things is because we did not keep God's commandments. Let me get Ezekiel 7, 1 and 6. Ezekiel 7. We're going to show you, man. All right? This is the end time. All the storms, the happening, are signs for us to repent. It's not for us to make bonfire or party. It's for us to repent. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the mouth that came unto me, saying, Verse 2, also thou, son of man, thou set the most high power unto the, unto the land of Israel. Unto the land of Israel, 
That's that's what we're here for. Read. And an end. The end is come upon thee. The end is come upon thee. Sooner or later, you're not gonna see brothers here giving you food, telling you to repent before destruction. It's coming. The end is upon us, people. The four corners of the land. Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. You see that? We're the end time. So we're coming to you to tell you to repent. It's for your own benefit. It's for your own benefit to repent. All right? Let me get Jeremiah 3 and 12. Now we're going to show you how to return, how to come back. You see that? All, the thing, all these things came upon us because we did not hearken into the law. Okay? But the Most High is still merciful to call the remnant. Jeremiah 3, verse 13. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words. That's what we're doing. Towards the north and say, return to the backsliding Israel. Return to the Most High Israel. Return to the law Israel. Say the Most High Paul, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon thee. See that? You, you, if you return, the Most High will not have his anger upon you. Is that what we, we need? That's what we need, man. Look at us, man. For I am merciful, said the Most High Paul, and I will not keep my anger forever. So we return, and he will not keep his anger forever. Return. Okay? Let's see how we return real quick. Last scripture. Uh, Leviticus 26 to 40. This is, how, this is how we return to the most high. And we're gonna, you're going to see it's, in, it's imperative that we know who we are. Without knowing who we are, we will not know our forefathers fail from keeping God's law. 26 to 40, Leviticus. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 40. Yep. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers. You see that? If you know you're children of Israel, you know your fathers fell from the commandment. So what? We return and confess our iniquity and our father's iniquity. With their trespass, with their trespass against me. Against who? Against me. See that? That's who we are at odds with. The most God. And then also, they have walked contrary unto me. Alright. All praise to the most God. Alright.